Central Catholic football team didn't know what it had when the 2000 season started. The Crusaders weren't very big, but they could run. In fact, they ran all the way to the Division III state title, beating Van Wert in double overtime. Just three or four days after the September 11th attacks changed our world, communities in Stark County drew closer on Friday and Saturday nights. It was high school football that brought them back together and gave them a sense of normalcy for two or three hours. The Jackson Perry game that night started with players running through their tunnel and onto the field carrying the American flag. It ended with coaches looking back on that night as such a surreal experience, something that they've never experienced before. And on Saturday night, Maslin and Cleveland St. Ignatius played in a game, and it was a night that even Justin Zwick, who went on and played at Ohio State, won't soon forget. When pro football needed a Hall of Fame, the Canton Repository had a headline that exclaimed, the logical site was here. Well, when high school football needed a Hall of Fame, the only site was here. And the logical place to start was the repository. The East-West All-Star Game was under the direction of the Circulation Department and Circulation Director Jim Porter. Porter got the idea to start a high school football Hall of Fame for the county. So he took the idea to the repository publisher Dave Greenfield who supported it, that first year saw all of the Pro Football Hall of Famers get in. It was a class of 15. The second year was a class of 10. Now certainly there's a backlog of players to get in, but over time, every high school football great in Stark County will get his day in the Hall of Fame. When Vic Whiting got to Northwest High School in 1999, he found a program in disarray. The Indians hadn't had a winning season in more than 10 years. In the years of the 2000s, Whiting and the Indians have turned it around to become one of Stark County's best, but now they face a challenge that even winning on the field can't solve. Tax levies may threaten the program. The 2004 high school football season started poorly for the McKinley Bulldogs, but they refused to quit after their tough start. They continued to believe in themselves and their coaches and turned things around during a memorable run where Ryan Brinson shattered records and their hard-hitting defense dominated football games. In 2005, Tom Stacy was hired as Maslin's head coach. He nearly took the Tigers to the promised land that year. Maslin came up just seven points shy of winning its first state title in Stacy's very first season as the school's head coach. The Tigers lost 24 to 17 to Cincinnati St. Xavier that year. Stacy said looking back on that game, had Maslin won its state title, its very first playoff state title in his very first season, he knew exactly what he would have done he would not have come back to Maslin for a second year. There's nowhere else to go but down from there, he said. Stark County high school football players produced some lofty offensive numbers the past 10 years, and no season exemplifies this decade of excess better than 2006. That season, McKinley senior Morgan Williams broke his own single season county rushing record set the year before. In the process, he became the county's career rushing leader, only to be passed by Hoover's Eric Howard this past fall. As Williams did his thing, Alliance quarterback Charles Babb was making his mark as well. A four-year starter, Babb set county records for passing yards and passing touchdowns. There are plenty of reasons for the explosion of offense, from increased games to more sophisticated offenses, most notably the growth of the spread. There's also the fact that some really good high school football players came through the county.
It's easy to forget about what happened during the journey with a destination as grand as the state championship game. But to really understand the 2007 Louisville High School football team is to comprehend a process of learning and growing. It's to consider what a group of individuals can do together and achieve with a proud tradition behind them. It is a study in enduring disappointment and coming back stronger. There have been better Louisville teams before and after that group of Leopards. But it was the 07 Leopards who stayed healthy enough, caught a few breaks, and found that magic formula to advance to where no other team in program history has been, a state championship game. Eric Howard burst onto the area football scene as a freshman running back midway through the 2006 season. Two seasons later, he was a dominant back, gaining statewide attention when he became Stark County's first Mr. Football winner in 2008. And with a bullseye on his back throughout this past season, Howard became just the second player ever to win Ohio's Mr. Football twice, joining Robert Smith. Howard ended his career as Stark County's career rushing and scoring leader. When the Glen Oak Golden Eagles ended the decade this season by winning a Federal League football title for the first time in 15 years, it continued their impressive rise as a program under Scott Garcia. The third-year head coach hopes to continue to build on that success in the decade to come. 